Well, hello there. New Milan Design here with another video from the series called Before and After, where I'll be showing you render settings for my projects. Today we'll be working with this very modern minimalist uh, concept. And the shot we're looking for today is early morning or at dawn. Something similar to, uh, to the video that I created on this house uh, previously and the link uh, to which you can find in the uh, top right corner. So let's uh, get straight to it by uh, creating our base render. And another copy of the same, same thing where we can uh, start applying our effects. So let's see what we, we will need uh, today. So uh, we'll start with the sun. Shadows, reflections, skylight and hyperlight. We will need volumetric sunlight today as well. From the camera settings, uh, we'll need exposure, two point perspective. Depth of field and chromatic aberrations. We need uh, sky and clouds. And from the last uh, color correction and sharpening tool. Quick uh, double check. Looks like we got all of them. Now you can see straight away there is a milky kind of film on top of the picture. That would be the um, volumetric sunlight. So let's uh, bring it all the way down. We'll come back to that uh, later on. Actually, all the way so it doesn't impede in our editing later on. We'll start as, uh, as usual with the chromatic aberrations. You can see the, uh, the aberrations of the lens in the corners. So let's bring it, uh, bring that dispersion down almost all the way, just till you need it just a little bit to make it look uh, realistic. And start with the, with the sun. Like I mentioned before, we're looking for early morning sunrise shot. So uh, we need to bring the, the sun height down and let's see what we need uh, the heading. I would like the sun somewhere around here to cast a little bit of shadows in here on, uh, on the building. Maybe the height a little up. That looks uh, better. If we need, we can adjust later on. So uh, we're done with the, with the sun for now. Uh, Let's uh, let's work on the on the shadows. So the sun in the morning is um, very warm, as we all know. So uh, you want to bring the coloring, uh, shadow coloring, all the way down to keep it uh, keep it warm. Uh, let's see the uh, omni shadow if we need more or not. But I think somewhere around here is okay. You can see the omni shadow usually in the in the corners of your model. Let's turn on the soft and the fine detail shadows, uh, both. We got the coloring, um, let's see the brightness a little bit down. As we know, in the morning the, the sun is pretty, uh, pretty sharp. That means the uh, contrast will be pretty strong as well. So I believe we're done with the, with the shadows. Now reflections, we got a lot of reflective uh, surfaces in here today, so uh, Let's start selecting them. We got a big pool in front of the building in here. There is glass in here. On the second or first floor. Two glass planes in here. And there is one big one in here. Okay, so we're done with the uh, with the reflections. Uh, obviously, turn on the 
speed ray reflections. Moving on to our next uh, effect, that would be skylight. Now let's turn on the planar and projected reflections and the render quality to high. Now I want to bring up the saturation. As I said, uh, the colors will be really strong and nicely uh, saturated and the brightness a little bit down somewhere around here so we don't get too much reflections from the sky from the surfaces we got a lot of reflective surfaces in front so it doesn't cast too much light on our buildings uh, and we get some uh, shadows from the trees in here as well moving on to uh, to our hyperlight on the mount raise a little bit just to get a little detail on the uh, interior. Like I mentioned previously in my videos, these two, uh, Skylight and Hyperlight, you will not be able to see in the viewer, I mean the, the changes. You need to do a couple of renders and compare them to uh, see the differences. Uh, volumetric sunlight will come back at the end. Um, exposure, the same thing. Two-point perspective, let's just quickly uh, turn it on. And all the way the amount. Now you can see uh, how the, <coughs> the building is morphing. Now, these are the columns that are actually supposed to be upright and straight. The rest of it, it is not 90 degree angle. So uh, it is a little uh, confusing, but these lines, these columns in here, I know that they are straight. So they need to be straight as you can see in here. Okay, so we're done in here. And we move on to uh, depth of field. Now I would like the the whole building to uh, to pop up, pop out. So we'll uh, we'll increase the uh, amount of the blur, and we want the um, the background to be blurred, and uh, the front or the main portion of the building to be nice and sharp. So let's. choose our, our distance let's use these, uh, this tool so let's put it on uh, somewhere in the middle of the building and turn it on it will measure exactly the distance and as you can see uh, the whole building uh, is nice and sharp now and uh, the background the trees and, uh, and the clouds are in the are blurred so uh, we're done with the uh, with the depth of field uh, chromatic aberrations we've done already sky and clouds now in the morning usually you get the, the sky very very clear basically with no uh, no clouds uh, at all so I'm going to bring it uh, all the way down so basically we only work with the uh, with the sky brightness just a little down or the uh, overall brightness of, uh, of the sky just to bring it a little bit down that's it so I want it nice and uh, clear today moving on to uh, to color correction as you can see the, the colors are not exactly for the morning uh, morning sun so we need to bring up the temperature make it more reddish and the tint as well now you can see the change in the in the color of uh, of the sun, and that's exactly what we're looking for. Let's try somewhere around here. Like I said, we need a little bit uh, more uh, contrast, and I think we need uh, to bring the the brightness up because we were losing the detail on the house a little bit, and perhaps a little bit of the saturation somewhere around here. Okay. And we're done with the color correction, sharpening, lower the intensity. This is all you need somewhere around here. Now you can see uh, there is a fog uh, around, the, uh, around the house and I do not have the fog selected in here. The reason for it, the fog effect in here would uh, cover basically the, the, the whole house and you can see the fog on the inside, on the interior as well, which we know it's not uh, right. So I was using the 
the effects directly in the lumion uh, for the fog. So we will not use the, uh, the effects in, uh, in here, but you use the effect directly uh, as an object in your, uh, in your Lumion uh, software. So let's double check what we need to come back to, uh, and that is the uh, volumetric sunlight. So uh, we'll bring the brightness up a little bit. Let's see the range. Somewhere around here and the brightness a little up. You can see that it will be mostly uh, reflected on, uh, on the fog, uh, your volumetric sunlight. Now uh, the render will look a little different after you, uh, you finish it. The viewer is uh, a little different. So I just quickly double check the rest of the, uh, the settings. Should have we done an exposure? Perhaps bring a little bit of light to the whole picture. Somewhere around there, yep. Okay. And I think we are pretty much done with the uh, with the effects. So we'll uh, we'll click quickly a render and uh, see our our final result. So thanks for watching, stay well and stay creative.